hello pisces welcome or welcome back to my channel all right so this reading for the second half of november is going to be for my singles only okay if you're pisces and you're single ready like you know to sort of mingle like a pringle do you get what i'm saying if you're in a relationship or you want somebody to come back like honestly i don't know if you you can watch it but it's not going to be for you this is for single piscerian energy Energy individuals only okay so yeah so let's see readiness for love for my single Pisces are you ready let's see where you're at as far as your journey in love okay so All right, so at the bottom of the deck, look at that. I cannot make this shit up. The lovers. Ooh, and lots of healing. I feel like you've been putting in the work, Pisces. You've been putting in the work. All right, so here we go. So let's see what Pisces wants in love, okay? What do you want from love? What are your expectations? Something that, you know, you've been searching for for a while. Okay, let's go with that, right? <clears throat> so, okay, so it is the Ten of Wands. All right, so Pisces, I am getting here where, you know, <laughs> there's accomplishments that you want with people with the person that you want to be with okay you want your person to be accomplished you don't want to carry the load yourself pretty much whether you're male or female you don't want like a freeloader i'm not saying the past relationships you were in were like just freeloading maybe they might be okay but you're kind of like but i love them you know <laughs> or maybe they might not be right so the thing is like Pisces like this is giving me um you could be dealing with the Gemini you could have a Gemini in your chart I mean in your like energy right now that's for somebody out there I just had to say that it's giving me how can I say this like the sense of where you just want to be accomplished you don't want to be held back you pretty much want success you don't want burdens right that's pretty much what it is in love okay um pretty much mind body and soul you want your person to thrive and and be just like a full embodiment of what they deserve themselves just like you so here it is like let's see what you have learned from love Okay, so you have learned to take a step back and see the bigger picture. It could have been in your previous relationships, you were like very impulsive and kind of like, you know, uh, shoot now, talk later type of thing. And I feel <laughs> like you still are like that, but you kind of like, um, I feel like you clap back real quickly at times but as far as like in a partnership you actually want to take the time um um to be considerate of somebody else's like uh thoughts and opinions pretty much in the past it was kind of like maybe even your opinion was overseen or it was overruled right pretty much somebody could be in um law enforcement or they could be like in law pretty much i'm using that type of terminology so you want pretty much justice. Your justice was never seen pretty much. There was never enough fairness, okay? And I feel like at the bottom of the deck too, you are healing from that, okay, Pisces? So let's see here. What holds you back? Ooh, okay. So I feel like because it's even though it's in the upright, so the Hierophant, um, it's a sense of like where you're... You're not letting your intuition guide you. I feel like it's that leap of faith, that leap of faith into um, being open to relationships coming to you or uh, other energies coming to you per se. Does that make sense? Like, I hope it does. <laughs> I really do. Because like, it makes sense to me, like what spirit's telling me, trust your intuition pretty much. Okay. That gut feeling that you have about like a person, like it'll never let you go astray, even though you can't understand it in the moment. Okay. So it's kind of like you are going against your gut feeling pretty much or against going, uh, in, like taking that leap of faith. Um, I feel like it's, it's, you feel like it's burdensome. 
like, oh my God, it's going to be stressful. But then again, you're here, like you're ready for a partnership. But then again, you're, you don't want to because of the past. Okay. Um, I feel like you're great right now on your own. Um, but definitely, you know, you do want to open up to that, you know, and explore, right? If it's not for you, I mean, you can go back in hermit mode. <laughs> so here, you know, the readiness of your heart, okay? Oh, I feel like you are very, uh, very joyful or there could be a lot of great memories that you had in your past, like especially with like relationships that you have been in. Um, there are some kind of like things that you took from your past relationships where it was like, you know what, I would like to keep this going. And you made it like a habit or a trait for your life now. Maybe it could have been like hiking, going to breweries, you know, stuff like that, right? That you never thought you would do, but you took it from this past and, and your heart likes that. Okay. I feel like there's like a little, like a heart chakra that like you know pulsates because it's like something that you like doing all right you you really like um a lot of stuff from your childhood maybe you could have traveled a lot with your family um or maybe you just could have traveled a lot when you were younger right take however it resonates so let's see the readiness of your mind hell yes Yes, 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 Pisces. Your mind is saying yes. They are ready for success. They are ready for uh, the love that, you know, that your mind deserves. Your heart is ready. And this is like emotion. Look at the cups. I feel like you really do mesh well or uh, or you mesh well with like water energy. Okay. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Of course, you're Pisces. So yeah, you're definitely in your element. You're definitely in your zone. All right. So this is 100% yes. Like I feel like these burdens, like they had to come into your life in order for you to be like, no, -uh, that's not me. That's not what I want in a relationship in the future. Okay. And I feel like you don't really hold a, like resentment towards your like axes. Okay. So let's see now the readiness of your spirit. Oh, God, yes. Mind, body, and soul are on point. I cannot make this up. So <laughs> with the high priestess here, this is telling me where your intuition, the emperor and the high priestess, I feel like they're like a really good couple. They're really like... I feel like it's like, like you want your legacy to be very successful, okay? It's kind of like that cheers, you know, you're you're cheering or you're like celebrating and it's kind of like, remember that scene in Magic Mike, whoever, I don't know, it just, it's coming. Uh, um, that scene where like they, they toast and it's like, may, may our, our kids' parents have rich ass parents, pretty, wait be rich as fuck or something like that i don't know <laughs> uh yeah go ahead and look at the clip or let me know down in the in the comments to see um if like that resonates pretty much right may they have rich and successful parents right to our kids pretty much may they have rich and successful parents so yeah with the high priestess it's a lot of knowledge okay your spirit has been through a lot of shit has been dealt through uh, has been dealt a lot i feel like um yeah, with the sirens out there, I feel that this is not your first uh, time around here. This is not your first time around. And I feel like maybe sometimes you, you know stuff that you probably didn't even, like, learn about. It just came to you, right? That knowledge, man. Okay, so let's get a romance oracle out here for you to close it out for Pisces. Please, spirit, romance oracle. All right. Ooh, flirt. Okay, and also at the bottom of the deck, you want to express your love, okay? So, <clears throat> flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, so I feel like you're not going to be, like, putting up with bull crap anymore or, like, you know, but you you are going to have that, like, express, uh, that expression of, like, actually letting people in, actually starting to, you know, per se, <clears throat> if you're, for some of you already doing this, right, in, for some of you singles, like, um, going more on dates, um, being more flirty, being more, like, cute was what I'm getting, okay? So, yeah, Pisces, I say definitely yes, okay? You're on the verge of definitely knowing what you want and definitely letting your person know that you are, that you know what you want and, you know, and you, you can just move on, right? There's, like, 
billions of people on this planet, okay? So you don't have to just stick with one person. All right, so this has been your reading for the second half of November. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!